just around this corner up right here. This is where one of the mass shootings was at. Uh, over the weekend. Over the weekend, it was a mass shooting right here. Where multiple people were shot. A few blocks over, another one would happen. Hopefully, you be like, oh, why you? I know some some of these subscribers that live in these gated communities, you know, these protected, the police actually protect and serve their neighborhoods. Be like, why the heck you driving past that? This the real Chicago. I'm from this shit. I'm from the real Chicago. You know? This normal to me. This everyday shit. You know, this ain't shit, you know, just another, just be another weekend in Chicago. That's all this shit be. Where I'm from, we don't get protected. We get locked up. We get the police that abuse us with plate readers, rather write tickets for us, body tags, and looking for motherfuckers with guns. And dope. Where the city don't give a fuck about. Well, hell, the police even putting guns back out on the streets. Because in some shooting cases, the police then took the gun off the street and somehow it winds back up on the street. How is that? You know. We're right down 16th right now. You know. Y'all don't really see me go film downtown or nothing like that. Because I'm not from there. That's not my part of the city, you know. To me, that's the front of Chicago. You know. That's the part of Chicago. Fuck you just stay sitting there for. That's the part of Chicago that actually get protected and served. That's the part to where they have one shooting, they ask for more police, and they get 200 more police. Where out here, we have one shoot. I mean, we have 100 shootings. And we ask for more police, we get more police. Yeah, just to scan plates, stop people with suspended license, expired tags, little fuck shit like that, right? Rolling the stop sign, fucking failure to use the turn signal, shit, little fuck shit like that. Instead of looking for the dope and the guns, and then they take people in. Oh, you ain't got no license. Like, bro, I ain't got to run you in. Bro, you going to run a motherfucker in for no license? And spend like an hour off the streets when you can go find somebody with a gun or, 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 or dope shit that's actually hurting the community? But hey, some of has got their priorities fucked up. That's why you rather. That's why I said you rather get stopped by jump out boys here, because the jump out boys stop you. That time, then you ain't got dope with guns. Is he gonna let you go? Scary Falcon is not jump out boys. Oh, Texas. But yeah. Okay. Cool. Got you. But uh, I had to reply back to the message. But uh. Whole thing is, you know, this is just what they do. It's hell of detectives out here that will stop you. You ain't got no license or nothing. As long as you ain't got no felony warrants. As long as you, don't, you ain't on no fuck shit with them. They let you go because they the real police. They out here looking for shit that actually hurts the community. Somebody with driving with no license don't hurt the community. They not shoot nobody. They not 
selling dope. So why fucking even run them in for that shit? But then you got some uniform officers that do the same shit. That let you go because they looking for the dope and the guns. You know, they looking for the real shit. But then you got some, you know, half ass them punch in and punch out cops. They just come to punch in and then punch out and go home. They'll just take you in off anything. You know. The whole thing is the real this the real Chicago. That's where I reside in. I don't reside in that downtown shit, that up no shit. Them the only areas that see police protection. Them the only areas that, you know, actually get protected by the police. You know, well, when they call the police, the police there like three minutes or damn, they're down there as soon as they hang up the phone. As soon as the motherfucker hang up the phone, the police sliding up deep. Out here in the real Chicago, you got to call two or three times before, they, before one car even show up. And still, they might take 10 minutes for them to come. Because this is the real Chicago. They don't give a fuck. This is what pumps the city. A lot of people that live out here get up and go to work. Taxpayers out here. You got some dope dealers and all that shit. You ain't got you ain't got all good people in the real Chicago. But this is why people get up and go to work. You know, taxpayers, people that are helping the city run. And for the city to repay them like that, say fuck you, fuck your safety, fuck your protection. You don't get no fuck, it's wrong. But, like I say, you don't benefit by shit the government do unless you're rich and white at the same damn time. I'm going to say that together. Rich and white at the same damn time. Just because you might be white, that don't mean they give a fuck about you. You got to be rich along with being white. You know, in order to benefit by shit that anything that the government does. Other than that, you black and rich, you gonna ain't gonna do shit but get federal investigations on you. Because they gonna say, oh, this motherfucker gotta be selling dope. This black motherfucker rich, he gotta be selling dope. Well, a white person that's rich and white, uh, yeah, they work hard for this shit. Knowing damn well they ain't work hard for that shit, pop. They inherited. Or they probably only got one of them office jobs. That pay like a hundred grand a year. But anyways, I'm gonna keep riding through my city, the real city, and uh, I catch y'all in the next video. Like, comment, subscribe.